right, we've got Jeff Pierce standing by, Senior Manager of Derivatives Trading, and Charles Schwab, our stock guy at the opening bell. HNY, Happy New Year. Uh, Jeff, did you guys cross over to the new year yet out there in St. Louis? <laughs> we did. We made okay. it past. All right. Um, <laughs> what is it, like three hours away? I'm not sure what that joke is. Uh, all right, let's talk some notes here. Two, uh, you got two real upgrades, a price target hike and a downgrade. Since we're starting with kind of some of the negative tone here this morning, let's go to the SoFi note from Keith Bruyette, a uh, real downgrade here. Yeah, they moved uh, SoFi Technologies to underperform from market perform with a price target at 650. That's down a dollar from the 750 they had before. The analysts really cited quite a few things for the move here, including the stock's recent outperformance, they said a re-underwriting of the firm's model, which they said slightly reduced their estimates, leaving it uh, materially below consensus. Uh, they also said they, they updated their 2024 revenue and, and EBITDA expectations are now 10 and 17 percent below street expectations. Um, I think if you look at this you know, company over the last 12 months, they're up 114 percent. We know they've gotten out of that crypto business. We don't quite know that the effect will be of that. Uh, but they've tried to paint a picture uh, that loans aren't the only thing, especially those student loans aren't the only thing that, that drive the business model. And I've seen, I feel like they've, they've done that in some of the recent earnings report. It looks like some of the analysts like, like this one may just be uh, seeing a cool off. All right. So this is definitely in that category of companies that uh, uh, were beaten down last year, like beaten to a pulp kind of with SoFi trading down to four bucks uh, at the lows, grinding it out and having some fundamental improvement over the last year, but still uh, a group that kind of depends on the frothiest sections of the economy and markets still pumping. I feel like uh, this is in that category of lending, loans, you know, easy money, low rate type of stuff. Uh, SoFi definitely caught a bid the last month and a half, you know, with some of the other stuff in that category. But I will say, uh, there were more extreme moves that looked even more rate dependent. So, SoFi is kind of a tricky one at this point. Yeah, they are tricky because I think certainly a lot of investors look at them as, you know, a loan business, especially around some of the student loan uh, area. The CEO said only about 67% of their absolute revenue growth from, from the quarter was, was non-lending driven. So, they said that the financial the technology side, the financial service business, both did well. They did say loan origination was back up. It was at about 900 million in the quarter, up 400 million a year ago. Um, and they've seen a kind of a spike in home loan origination as well. That was up 64% in the in the quarterly report. Nonetheless, um, you know some of these numbers are not what they were pre-pandemic, and they've said they don't expect their student loan business to return to pre pre-pandemic levels until around 2025. Okay. Uh, upstart down, uh, lending tree down, lending club down. So the whole category under some pressure here.